Hello dear sons, this is Prajesh Chaudhary, your quantum guru. In this video, I'll geometrically prove Pythagoras theorem. We know that in Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. And this I'll attempt to prove geometrically. So here I have a right angle triangle ABC. AC is the hypotenuse, AB and BC are the other two sides. Its length are A, B and C respectively. So according to Pythagoras theorem, C square is equal to A square plus B square. So geometrically what I want to do, I want to make three squares. Uh, one square whose uh, side length would be A, one square side length B and another square side length uh, C. And the square I will make like this. So this is the square, these are the squares and one more diagram I made. Oh, this is a square of side A, this is square of side B, this is square of side C and the same diagram is here. So if I can prove the area of this square that would be C square is the sum of area of these two square it means I have proved Pythagoras theorem. So for that thing. Uh, I am going to make a uh, some geometrical construction so you can see that this is a uh, in this triangle this triangle is triangle A C and E and this is a triangle A H and B or A B H so one thing is that uh, see here this triangle this side is A and in this triangle this side length is also A and in this triangle this side length is C and here this side length is also C so two adjacent side lengths are same and uh, suppose this angle is theta so obviously this angle is theta so one angle uh, this side and this side this side and this side are equal and the angle between them this angle between them is this is 90 plus theta and this is also 90 plus theta. So we got two triangles whose adjacent side lengths are equal and the angle between them are also equal. So it means this triangle and this triangle are these two triangles are congruent triangles. So if these triangles are congruent so their area must be equal. The area must be equal and the area of a triangle is equal to the base into altitude by 2. So for this triangle this is the base and uh, this base and this is the vertex and this base and the vertex between this base and the vertex the altitude is this A. So area of this triangle is A square by 2 A into A by 2 that is A square by 2 and the so would be this area. The area of this triangle and this triangle are both uh, a square by 2. So basically I am interested in this area. So the area of triangle HAB or ABH is equal to a square by 2. And once again uh, one more similar construction the same diagram is here and now I want to look for this triangle and this triangle. So these two triangle, triangle ABC and triangle IBC, I want to check for the congruency. So see, uh, this side length is B and here one side is also of the same length. And here this side is of the length C and there is a another side of the same length C. So we have two equal adjacent sides. And uh, suppose this angle is say phi and here also this angle is phi. So this angle, angle ACB is phi plus 90 and here also angle BCI is also phi plus 90. So we have two triangles having adjacent sides equal and the angle between the adjacent sides are also same. So this triangle and this triangle, triangle AGC and triangle IBC are congruent triangles. So if they, they are congruent, their area must be equal. So area of triangle uh, IBC and triangle AGC are same. 
so once again look for this triangle area so suppose if this is the base and this is the vertex so between this base and the vertex this is the altitude that altitude is b base is b so area of this triangle is b square by 2 half into b into b and so should be this area so area of these two triangles are b square by 2 so area of triangle uh, ibc is b square by 2 so here once again we have this diagram this side was of length a and this side was of length b so this area of square is a square the area of the square is b square and the area of this square is c square and if i can prove c square is equal to a square plus b square mean i have proved pythagoras theorem so basically i need to prove that the area of this square is the sum of the area of this square and this square so for that thing uh, let's recall we just got the area of this triangle and this triangle's area was a square by 2 and we also got got b square by 2 want to make one more construction from this uh, vertex i want to drop a perpendicular on the hypotenuse and extend that perpendicular like this suppose this is a perpendicular suppose i have this rectangle uh, this is a and this is h so this area is a h I can make as many as triangle having the same base and the same altitude like I can get a triangle this can get triangle this I can get triangle this and so on all these triangles have the half of the area of this rectangle so that area would be of all of all these triangles the area would be AH by 2 so suppose uh, I want to see this rectangle this rectangle has a this side C and this side uh, say H1 so this area would be what C into H1 and the same area between this base and this altitude any triangle that I can make that area will be half of that rectangle or the area of the rectangle will be twice of that triangle so this is one such triangle so this is between this base and the altitude is h1 so this area should be ch1 ch1 by 2 and we also we have also proved that this area is a square by 2 so basically this area of this uh, rectangle should be the twice of the area of the triangle that is a square by 2 similarly suppose this is h2 so and this is also c so this area is c h2 triangle area and on this base and for this altitude what how many triangles so many triangles that can be made the area would be the half of that rectangle so that will be c h2 by 2 or the area of the rectangle will be twice of the any triangle so this triangle area is b square by 2 this triangle is between this base and has altitude c2 the area of this rectangle will be the twice of that so area of this rectangle will be b square so now just simplifying all those things so now i can say that area of this rectangle is a square and area of this rectangle is b square so area of this whole square is uh, that area was c square and that is now a square plus b square so thus i have proved geometrically pythagoras theorem that is the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the square of the other two sides in a right angle triangle thank you